For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you a bit of a review video on a awning from Tauta. Swimming here today, I've got the Tauta Cloud 290 Air awning. So the Cloud sort of sits in kind of uh, what arguably actually is Tauta's kind of smallest uh, caravan awning tends to do, uh, and certainly more sort of price orientated. It's, it's something that's designed to be light, packs down nice and small, but really quite versatile in the way it fits. And that's where I think if you've got something like a caravan or a motorhome, uh, or more importantly for me, if you've got like a panel van, i.e. with a big sliding door on the side, this is where it's a really good option. Um, there's not many awnings in the market that are what I call a fixed awning, i.e. can't be drive away from, but are available for those motorhomes and certainly more those panel vans to incorporate that sliding door. So that's where the cloud is a bit unique in its own way. Um, if you haven't heard of Tauta before, they're a brand that's been around for a couple of years now. They're kind of like a, a Danish-English uh, mix. And pre basically previously, the former designers uh, came from Camper and Dometic, and they sort of involved in just not new awning brands. So been around for a while. It's all about creating something that's practical, lightweight, and good value. And that's kind of what really the cloud kind of gives you. So. In terms of fabric itself, we're running with 150 denier material. So it's a decent sort of level, considering it's not been too heavy. The idea behind it is that it's usable, still kind of durable in, you know, the lifespan you'll hopefully get out of it. Admittedly, you see this more being for sort of weekend use or maybe the odd week here and there. Um, the overall weight of it runs around about 12.4 kilograms. So again, it is quite light, and just, which is helpful when you must fight, feed it directly into the rail or into a wind down. Now, it's actually got a dual beading on it. So it's got a five mil and seven mil beading. So the five mil can go into your winder awning. Pretty much doesn't matter whether it's an Omni store, a Fiamma, or a, a Thule, um, or a Fuel, if you want to call it that way. A lot of them have that part in really for the privacy blinds. So that allows you to go onto that directly. Or if you're into a normal car caravan rail, a seven mil beading works really well, really well. We often refer to it as a six, just because it depends if you take an internal and external profile, but it's going to fit your caravan regardless. Now, the reason this can fit a caravan as well as a motorhome is actually due to a clever kind of expansion system. So what we've got is a zip located on the side here. And it acts very similar to like a suitcase where you can undo the zip and it increases the height of the awning. There's actually two zips here. So for example, as we have it here with the zip fully closed, it will fit a vehicle that has an attachment height of 235 to 250. If I were to open this zip, it then gives an, an adjustment that it can go up to, so with one zip open, you're looking from 250 to 265. And then behind there again, there is another zip. And that will then expand it up from 265 to 280. So it means pretty much, regardless of what kind of vehicle you've got, this is gonna be a, an, a pretty decent fit for it as well. So lots of flexibility. Plus if you're on an even pitch, or for example with motorhomes, if you're on leveling ramps, you've still got a bit of play, which again is quite crucial for um, whatever site you end up turning up to. We've got an apex ventilation point up here. That's obviously to help circulate the air. It is kind of a, a 150 polyester material, so it's not necessarily breathable, as you'd see with the rest of Tauta's kind of collection. But again, it's, not, it's designed to be something lightweight and kind of easy to use. Storm straps on the front here can supply the standard with it as well, so that comes included. And we've got this lovely big door on the front. Now, in the door section itself, you can see what it's big sort of PVC window, so you've got a nice bit of light into it. The overall size of the awning is actually, it's 290 wide and 240 deep. So the 290 wide is the crucial part, because not many sort of smaller compact awnings like this have that width. They tend to be like a 220 or a 260, so this going a little bit wider. That's the difference of why actually you can open a sliding door within obviously the internal tunnel. We'll look at that a bit later on. And due to the nature, because there's no central tube in ventral beam, there's nothing pressing against the motorhome or the caravan, so it means that sliding door can quite happily pass through. As mentioned, we've got this crystal clear window, but there's also a curtain that comes down uh, and Valkyrie is down to kind of get that privacy as and when you want it to. We've got um, doors on either side, both have mesh into them, so that's going to be your main kind of airflow. So on a warm day, uh, obviously, or if, for example, at night when you've got a light on inside, you can have your lantern on the side and not have to worry about the bugs and that stuff coming to join you. Um, the front door, if you kind of wanted to, not that it's really designed to be, you can almost create a kind of little bit of a mini canopy out of it, just by using the original pegging ladders that come supplied with it. And you can almost basically buy some additional king poles. 
So I'm gonna just throw them out of Velcro. So you can almost basically bring that forward, create, you can actually, to be fair, there's eyelets in the corners of for basically, which is the draft skirt, the skirt that goes underneath them. So you could actually put king poles directly through that, create yourself a little bit of a canopy, just to give yourself a bit of extra space if you really wanted to. Playing that way, you want to open it up and get a bit more of a, an overall idea for the space. We can roll that up. And then we've got a nice kind of open front here. So it's almost, it's not as good as a sun canopy, but it just gives you that flexibility on a nice day. You just kind of make the most of the area. Now, one of the joys of this is because obviously it's inflatable, it means it's very quick and easy to pitch. You can see from our own kind of Apple's pitching video, uh, I pitched this very model in the best part of about eight or nine minutes. So again, I mean, merely as myself doing it, kind of very familiar with the whole pitching process and doing it on grass is a lot easier than necessarily doing it on um, hard standing, you know, or rocks and that sort of stuff. So that's why it works really nicely. The thing I do quite like is actually the, the zips actually seem quite decent quality. Even like the zip pullers have got a little kind of toggle point to it, so it's easier to grasp it. And it's almost like a, I don't know how to call it, I'm not saying it's like braille, but it's kind of just giving a bit more purchase. So on those wet days, you can still quite happily pull that. So again, that's really quite nice. Other thing as well is like the webbing straps, they actually stitched and carry on through the point into the main seam there. And it helps just to kind of spread the load uh, and give you a bit more resilience. You get a manual pump supply with it as standard. So that comes included. You also get a draft skirt as well. Those who have caravans can also utilize that. We've got guide points located on the side just to give a bit more structure, as before mentioned, the front storm straps, as we've said about as well. We've also got a single inflation point. So one point here will inflate the whole product itself. Um, so again, not a lot of pumping. Probably inflate it within a minute, not even that, to be honest. It doesn't take that much, as you can probably see from our pitching video. But more importantly, you've got a valve on this side. So the inflation valve can also be a deflation valve. But on the opposite side as well, there's actually a sort of turnbuckle, uh, like a... Like a um, it's the same valves are used on their isolation points on the inside of their awning. So but it means you've got essentially a deflation point on either side. So that really helps. Even as a small awning, that's going to make a large difference when you actually come to pack it away. You're not worried about having any air trapped at one end or the other. I mean, in terms of the height, it's not too bad when you're inside it. I mean, I'm about six foot two. For me to duck a little bit into the side door, uh, into the front door for that matter, and the side door is a little bit of a burden. But to be fair, there's not many awnings of this kind of design that you can probably walk directly in and out of. Um, there is a webbing strap that runs between the two legs, and that's basically to make sure you don't over-splay the beams itself. And we've also got a skirt on the inside which you can peg, and obviously depending on the skirt's a bit longer on the back side of the panels. Reason being is obviously if you're a bit higher off the ground, you've still got plenty of ability to peg directly through that. And in fact, let's bring the camera in so we'll probably get a better understanding of the cloud. So as I kind of, what I've done here is obviously put the, um, the mesh door. So there's an outside door on here, which you can then roll back. But then you can utilize this as your main door. And because obviously there's a door on either side, it doesn't matter which side the caravan door is, or for example, the sliding motorhome door, you know, you can't happily work between that. There is a, a foam pad that's located at the back of the caravan. And this is basically designed um, to fit, obviously, an upright pole, which would be an optional extra. And what you're designed to do is basically press this foam pad against the side of the vehicle, just to minimize the draft. There are also pre-punched holes in that side as well. So you can use a pole and also some like suction points, be it like uh, limpets or anything along the lines of that. And at the top here, we've also got a, a sleeve, which basically the pole goes directly into. So it's obviously fixed in the awning at the top. The foot at the bottom, press it down. And there's then Velcro tabs located just to kind of keep that pole neat and tidy. More importantly is when you're on say like a, a motorhome, for example, and you've, the wind out's not dead flush against the bodywork, it sits a little bit proud. Tend you have a little bit of a gap. So what you can do is this part here, Velcro's off. So it creates a little bit of a hidden store so then you can kind of keep it flat like so. Just take that extra little bit of gap up. So again, it's really quite nice and thought about. You've also got a accessory track, which is basically like a little bit of beading on the underside here. Now that's basically so you can have little hanging organizers or something popping down here. So to kind of maximize your internal space. Admittedly, if you are having a sliding door, you're not gonna be able to utilize that just because really from one side, from the front of the door to the back of the door, it sort of fully opens, you need around about 265. Um, so whereas here, you've got just about, I think it's 275-ish um, internally because of it. So 
you're not going to have some benefit from that. High point ventilation is reported about on the outside, but again, the actual casing of tubes are really quite strong. So uh, Tauta, you use a TPU tube, so it's like an inner tube itself, but the outer casing you use like a reinforced nylon, and it's, it's a great way of creeping the lightness down, but also the durability. So that also is quite a popular, um, you know, another good sort of point about it in total. But let's bring the camera a bit more up close and personal with some of these features, just so you get a bit of a better idea about it. We'll go inside the awning uh, and talk through. So. We talked initially about obviously the apex ventilation points up here, uh, as well as obviously how it connects to the vehicle. So there are the little points. So we've got a little sleeve that goes into up there, and then this expands as well as the internal zip is kind of baffled inside. Falco points, and then we can also see the, the pulls again, nice and easy to get a bit more of an idea. We've got little windows on either side of the actual um, sort of door, and obviously there's a big crystal clear window that would be necessarily there if need be. A good amount of clearance kind of above the door of uh, a caravan on this particular one. I appreciate you've got to sort of be a bit careful depending on your motorhome and where it kind of is in that sense. As we kind of come around and outside of it, you can see kind of the side profile. You know, it's quite tall. It's a good, good sort of size. It sits quite well. We've also got like I said, guide points on the side, an inflation valve, which is located just directly down there. And, it, and then you've got that apex vent and then the dual beading uh, which kind of is situated there itself. So that's where you're going to use the four mil uh, or depending on the six mil on what you're kind of going for. But yeah, I, I just like the way it sits. Again, it's, it's kind of a no frills awning. You know, it's not got an amazing amount of uh, top end features. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's built well. It's kind of, you know, quite good value for money. The main thing, like I said, for me is, is how it's that extra width is it gives you a little bit more space and for the pack size and pack weight do you know what? It, it just ticks a really nice box certainly i think i would if i would be critical about it i would like to be able to, be able to i'd like to be able to walk into the door without crouching uh, sort of but then again it's how you utilize it i mean if you have that door sit down and it's just that kind of typically tends to be a bit of storage area you know you, you're not gonna you can't drive away from it so you're gonna put it up which doesn't take too long you can obviously have a table and chairs in here, you know, bring the dog in, dry off before going into the camper van, the motorhome or the caravan. Um, that works really quite well. You can still kind of seal it against the vehicle, be it with some additional poles. So all around, I think it's, it just takes a lot of boxes. Um, for more information, of course, on the uh, cloud, you can check the link below this video. It'll take you straight through our website where we've got more information on things like pack sizes, floor dimensions, um, some of the individual features that are obviously listed around it as well. Um, so that's all kind of handy stuff to have. Plus our pitching videos there as well, so you can check that out and see how simple uh, it, one person can do it in. Um, sorry, Arch. it's not always the case, but um, we sort of try to base our pitch times on what I can do and give you obviously an, a realistic version of that. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of everything you need to know really, but feel free to let us know what you think again of the uh, Talta Cloud. It's always great to have feedback from you guys, be it good, bad, or whatever it may be. So. Um, Thank you very much for watching. We'll check you again soon in our next At Walls Outdoors video review. But that has been our video review on the Tauta Cloud Air 290 awning.